How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, Mom Theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. I want to talk to you about the XMC2 that I got. Uh, I want to give you a little update on it. I've been using it for about four months now. Um, I just shot this video on my camera, and the audio was 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 pretty good. I was using it. I uh, can't get my lapel mic to work, but. I won't have all the information in my hand like I just had it. Uh, it did not record all of my video for some reason. It recorded like half of them and stopped, and I don't know why. I was sitting there looking at it, and it looked like it was still counting down, but it only seemed like it got about half the video. So I got to do this over, so I won't have all the information in my hand. Sorry, but uh, let me tell you about my XMC2. So I've had it for about four months now, and there were definitely bugs. I know a lot of people talked about the bugs that Ebotiva have, they're RMC1, RMC1L, and the uh, XMC2. So I was able to afford the XMC2. I wanted the uh, RMC1L, but I just it was out of my price range for right now. So I got the XMC2, and like I said, had bugs, what people mentioned. So they released uh, firmware uh, 3.1. I was able to download it and put it in. Now, it took me a little bit to get it put in, and it was, it was, you have to follow the instructions to a T. And apparently I missed something, I didn't, and it just would not take. But if you follow those instructions exactly the way they tell you, you can put it in there. So after the update, <coughs> it seemed to do good. So let me give you a few issues that I'm still having. Uh, number one, the uh, audio. When the audio switches like on menus, or if it's, you know, you're on the menu, it's gonna play in surround, over surround, or whatever. Uh, when you click on it and it switches from menus to the warning labels to this and that, if the audio changes, there's a pop in the speaker. So that is one thing that I wish they'd fix. It's aggravating. Sometimes it's a high pitched pop, some low pop. I don't think it's nothing. I don't think it's anything that's gonna damage your speakers. It's just like, what was that? Why is it doing that? And if I'm demoing for somebody, I have to explain to them, hey, that's, that's normal. That's just how it is. It's not normal, but it is normal because that's what's happening. So hopefully they'll get that fixed. Uh, the next thing is slow uh, HDMI switches. Now, I think it got a little bit better uh, when the new firmware come out, but it's still, it's still pretty slow. Um, <laughs> On my Apple TV, this is where it's really noticeable at. So I've got my Apple TV hooked up out here. So when you're, when the main screen comes on with all your icons on it, uh, I want to say that's in like 1080p or something like that. That's not 4K, I guess, because when you click on a movie, it's changing. Maybe it is, I don't know. It changes, goes to a blank screen and then when then it takes a minute for the movie to come up, then you can click on it and the movie starts. So it, it does that to just about every uh, thing that I see or try to watch on um, Apple TV. It does that. So you got that to bear with it. Um, also, uh, I have my Panasonic UB9000 and I have my Sony X800 uh, on different, of course, on different, uh, HDMI input, so I like to switch back and forth as I put the same movie in on both of them because I'm going to see which one's better. I mean, we know which one's better. That Panasonic is it's pretty hard to beat. I don't know if I don't know of another one out there that could probably beat it. That Panasonic's pretty good from what I've seen so far, and uh, so it's kind of kind of slow on that. And uh, but hey, we bear with it. Uh, the XMC2 is, is a very good uh, processor, in my opinion. I like it. But the third issue that I'm having, and there may be more, but I can't really think of anything right now. But the third issue I'm having is uh, my height middle speaker drops out. Now, I'm running a 7.6.6. 7 4 .6 .6. channel speakers. Got 418s, 212s, 6 subwoofers, and... I'm running six hot channels. Now, I was playing Ready Player One for a friend of mine, and 
as soon as the uh, they shoot the little firework out of the uh, Statue of Liberty, I said, something ain't right. Immediately I knew. I mean, I could tell. So I paused the movie. I let it play a little while longer just to confirm. I let it play. And then I said, no, I'm not right. So I paused the movie. So I went into so I could play uh, the channel levels. And sure enough, when I got to the middle height speakers, they weren't playing neither side every other every channel was playing except those so okay what's going on so i powered the machine down put it in standby and then i went on the back which is very difficult you see my rack i got stuff stacked in there which i'm fixing to redo my rack and i'll tell you at the end of this video um if you powered off on the back wait a minute power it back on let it boot back up because this i mean it's nothing but a computer basically let it boot back up, then turn it on. It seems to work. So I've had to do that quite a few times. So I finally, I was like, no, I, need, I said, no, if something's wrong, uh, even TV will make it good. So I contacted them, and sure enough, I mean, that afternoon, they, they hit me up, uh, asked me some questions about firmware. And I said, yes, I'm on current firmware. So they told me to go into the settings where I could take uh, the assignment, uh, <clears throat> and assign it to none, the middle heights. Assign it to none. Back out, go back in, and then uh, assign it back to middle heights. Okay, did that. Worked for a few days, either that or I wouldn't, watching something where I would notice it, and uh, sure enough, uh, I'd check it, it wasn't working again. So I contacted them again. And this is what he said. He asked me a few questions. He said, what well, What are you watching? What is it showing on the screen? Blah, blah, blah. I said, well, it's Dolby Atmos. And this is what he said. He said, well, Dolby Atmos, it's, it's not gonna play all six channel height speakers uh, right now. That That's in a future upgrade. I said, okay. I said, but it is working when I reset it. Uh, and I, and I, I mean, I mean, these guys are smart. They're the ones that made it, but I'm, t I'm telling you guys, those six height speakers are working when I, when I reset it, turn it back on. Uh, I, I, I maybe they're not supposed to, uh, but they are because I can, I can listen and you know, something's not going to come out of every speaker all the time. But when, I mean, you can, I can hear them coming out the front, the middle and back at, at different points in time during the movie. So I know they're working. So really don't know what the issue is there. Uh, I come home today and I checked it. They're still working. Um, but it's giving me a problem. Uh, yesterday I was demoing for my neighbor. My neighbor asked me, you got that room done yet? Yeah. He come over here and sure enough, it wasn't working again. So I had to just reset it. So I really don't know what the issue is, guys, um, with that. But that's three issues I know I'm having right now. Uh, is it deal breakers? No. Is it aggravating? Yes. But, I mean, you know. It is what it is. You guys, we know this is nothing but a computer. And uh, hey, you go you go spend a lot of money on a computer or cell phone and, and it has bugs and issues and this ain't working right, this ain't doing right. Eventually they'll come out with a firmware update that'll take care of it. And I hope they get it fixed soon. So now, upgrade program. I know I mentioned to you guys and you guys with uh, Evil Tivas, uh, I guess you've been following it. They were supposed to release the upgraded boards, and that was one of the reasons why they dropped the price on the uh, their processors. Uh, so you could, uh, you know, get one, and they wanted to sell them out, which they, which they said they made to order. But I mean, apparently they got all the parts. So you want to get all the parts, you know, done and 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 out the door so they drop the price and i and i've seen on forums and stuff a lot of people's been buying them because it is a good price but so the upgrade program now i can't remember everything that's coming because i just had it where i could read it to you guys uh but i will i can i can remember it's going to have 8k on all inputs and outputs hdmis which is it HDMI 2.1, which I, I guess that's good if you got 8K. Uh, that's future proof, but I mean, I don't know that I ever need 8K. Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but it'll be available. 
uh, DTSX Pro, uh, IMAX enhanced, and also they have an, uh, it's, uh, uh, Dolby Atmos uh, something. I guess you can optimize your uh, that. Uh, it's got new DAC boards coming, uh, built-in uh, Wi-Fi, which you know now you pretty much have to hardwire it with a little box that they give you for direct live. But this will actually have built-in Wi-Fi. This one has a 100 watt power supply. The new one's gonna have a, a 200 watt power supply. Uh, it's gonna have streaming music available. Uh, and there might have been a few more things that are missing, but uh, so what is that going to cost you? Okay, so if prior to October last year, if you bought a unit and you paid full price for it, the upgrade because basically this is what they told this is what they told me, and I guess they've told everybody else. When you send your unit in, they're basically going to send you a new, a new unit because they re, I, they told me they replaced every board on this thing, on the processor, except one. And I don't even remember which one that is. So everything is new. The whole internal guts except one board is new. So when you send it back, basically they send in your processor. Okay, so what does that cost? If you bought it prior to October of 2022 and you pay full price for processor, six ninety nine. That's a pretty good deal, I think. So us, like me, what's it gonna cost us that we bought it around November? Uh it's a thousand and ninety nine dollars. So what that is, that's about what they cut off. Uh, and they also announced new pricing and the new pricing it is a little bit higher, which guys we know everything is has gone up. Uh, especially electronics, food, gas, whatever. I, but everything's went up. So uh, if you take in consideration for what we paid to what the upgrade is, that pretty much will put it at the new price point. So I think that's something that I'm going to do. I definitely want to upgrade it. I want the DTSX Pro, uh, the Dolby Atmos thing. Um, I want the IMAX enhanced, uh, the, the HDMI 2.1. I mean, Maybe there's something else I can use it for, but I know I'm not going to have any uh, 8K anytime soon. But uh, uh, I think that's pretty cool, guys. Uh, what I would like to hear in the comments, if you're having any of the troubles that I'm having. Uh, but other than that, I, I mean, I am really, really, really pleased with my XMC2. And uh, I've wanted one ever since uh, they debuted. And I, I mean, it, um, you know, Emotiva has good products. The processors are good. Um, their amps are phenomenal. And uh, I really wanted, I really wanted uh, another uh, Emotiva amp. And uh, I've been on the fence for a while. I wanted a DR3, I wanted an XPR, a XPA7. I've got this Outlaw, and I'm not going, I'm not getting rid of the Outlaw. It's, uh, you know, 130 watts by seven. So I'm going to keep it. And that's running my height speakers right now. Well, no, actually right now it's running the two, uh, the four surround speakers and, and two height speakers. So when my new amp gets here tomorrow, I'll be doing an unboxing and stuff on that. That'll be running my floor speakers because it's seven channel and the outlaw will be running my high channel. So what amp did I get? I've been on the fence. Uh, like I said, I wanted an XB7. I really wanted a DR3 because it's 450 watts a channel to run my uh, RTI 9 Polks. So what did I get? I bought a monolith. I believe it's the 7X. It's the, it's uh, I've, I've just been eyeballing this amp for a while. Uh, it, 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 it checks all the boxes. I, I wish it was a little more powerful. It's 200 watts by seven. Uh, I think that's all channels driven too. So I, it, it, and from what I've read, people on Facebook's been talking about it. A lot of people's buying the maps right now. And I'll tell you where I bought mine, how much I paid for it. Um, uh, they talk like they're really good amps. And uh, I know I like monolith stuff. Uh, so I'm excited to get it. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Uh, I have, I bought it off Amazon and I have Amazon Prime and I bought it a couple of days ago and it's been preparing to ship for a couple of days, but they shipped it today and it says it'll be here tomorrow by 10. We will see. And I'll be glad to get it, and we'll get it unboxed, and uh, get it get it 
get everything hooked up and hopefully it will perform good. So looking forward to that and uh, I, I hope, hope it works out. I hope it'll perform like I need it to. So uh, that's coming guys. And uh, like I say, I, I really, I really I like Emo T, but I wanted her amps. Oh, I know what I was talking about, Amazon. I got it off of Amazon. Now Amazon had these pretty much what, I mean, cause you can buy monolith stuff uh, on Amazon. They sell direct on Amazon. But I think this one was sold. It might have been sold through Amazon. I, by Amazon. I don't know. But it's been like $1869 or $1849 for a while. And I think they're normally about $2,000. So it's been on sale for that. But last week, I looked on, on Amazon. And they had it for $1672. So you add tax. I'm in South Carolina. So you add South Carolina tax. It was $1806. And I thought that was a good deal. I jumped on it, and like I say, it'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I think there's still some some in stock. If you want to look on there and, and grab you up one, uh, everybody talks about their good amps. Uh, we will see. Uh, I hope it'll push these uh, pulps. I know they won't. I know it's not going to be able to push them the way I would like. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll hit the lottery, and I can buy me a DR3, and I can do some moving around or something. But uh, I think the model is going to do good. I really do. And uh, so, guys, uh, we'll do a video on that tomorrow. But uh, that's my thoughts on the XMC2. Uh, give me your thoughts in the, in the comment section. And uh, we'll see you again, hopefully, tomorrow.